Hi Leo, welcome to What's Next in Love. We're gonna see who's coming towards you. Um, and then we're gonna see their feelings and if they have any messages and spirit guidance. And also I have this love um, like sigil, angelic sigil here to help heal um, whatever's happening here. Um, also, if you have yes or no questions, um, I have several oracle cards here that would answer any of those questions. I will do that in the very end part of the reading. So let's start here. I have courage um, and then I have universe. It looks like overall I'm getting that you're going to get two people coming your way. Um, with the 55 here, it turns to one. So someone wants to um, start a new, um, start a clean slate and a new person here, another soulmate that is coming through. Um, so I don't know if you're dealing with a soulmate in the past and twin flame is coming through or a twin flame was the past and then a new soulmate is coming through that's a new person. So let's see, um, with the universe here, we have the universe is guiding you to that special person, allow everything to take its natural course, and family, the conflict is resolved, the healing has begun, new vitality, again with one and 55 here, and angel of abundance. A steady flow of abundance is about to manifest. And then we have healing, inner child, assistance, spirit guides. So this is um, assisted by your angels and what I think the past person's angels is actually encouraging them to head towards you. I don't know um, if there is something um, that needs to be healed between you two, but with family, I'm not sure this could be someone that was in the past that felt like family or this is someone that you had a family with you guys had children or you guys planned to have a family and you guys were like living together but this was a very serious relationship um that required inner child healing um and i have a feeling like this is more of the twin flame and what's going to happen with this new person we're going to be seeing with the cards that's going to be coming through later on but this is all that's here right now this is for the twin flames if you're dealing with um, a very high level soulmate that ended um, maybe a year ago five months ago six months ago even or maybe even more than that um, this person is coming around um, wanting to come back and heal whatever that requires here. I think this person had wounds um, from their parents. Um, maybe you did too and you guys both triggered the healing here. But with spirit guides, um, you know who this person is if you are dealing with a twin flame. Because the psychic connection would be very, very profound. So intense that would be an undeniable. Um, maybe when you met this person, um, it's like coming home. Um, it's, and it was maybe an expected feeling for you. With transcendence here, unity, you, you truly felt like it wasn't an expected feeling, but at the same time, it's like you, you felt like the piece of the puzzle was complete emotionally um maybe your mind and heart did not merge yet with this but emotionally like your soul your soul felt complete um i don't know if you guys play instruments or you guys love listening to music or maybe coming together opened all your chakras here i could also hear kundalini energy um and with the twin flame here and all the fire uh, this was again a very passionate relationship also very um healing um when you're in this person's arms 
it was peace. It was is very peaceful. Um, so yes. So let's see what happened in the past. We have fake friends. We have sick in their feels and hater. Okay. So it looks like you guys were surrounded or this person was surrounded by fake people. Um, also, this person could be um, in the medical field or since COVID happened, maybe something happened to this person or they were taking care of a loved one, maybe a friend that pretended to be sick or a family member um, or they, they weren't faking the sickness, but they were really sick and this person um, probably offered to help and then that became like a blockage um, it's something that it's a responsibility that they could not get rid of but with a the teddy bear there um, if you met this person and they had kids with other prior meeting you um, and that kid got sick and they had to really tend to their child um, they were torn with responsibilities and, and though this person really wanted to go to you like it was very tough decision they have to go to their child like the child is a priority more than anything um also i'm getting a feeling that close friends or a family member or certain people maybe even at their workplace that did not approve of this relationship if it if this was a twin flame relationship a lot of people would be against it the blockages would be insurmountable it would feel like insurmountable but it truly isn't it's just part of the growth in here um yeah there were a lot of i have a feeling that this person probably works somewhere like maybe a paramedic or first responder or like in a nurse or they take care of old people even or in a facility but there was just a lot going on in this person's life and it's something that they could not get away from even though they felt what you felt for this person they felt it too and it looks like your guides and angels are bringing you back together to see if this could be renewed um but it's also a choice for you you know like i i don't know how bad the things had gotten before it really folded um and maybe moving on would be the best bet for you because there's two choices here and whatever you do know like whatever choice you do know that there's going to be no consequences it's just um it's it's a choice that and choose with uh, your heart and logic in the sense that um, you always have to uh, put yourself first and do what feels right for you. If it does not feel right to go back to the past, then don't do it. Okay, so let's look at um, the next phase here. So we have business, work, uh, entrepreneurship, career moves, working on your career success, earning money through work. So maybe this next person or this past person is in your workplace or it's going to be something that you will be meeting soon if you're going to go to um, conferences or if you travel through work, maybe you'll meet this new person through this endeavor. And then teamwork, a partnership to complete a goal. Someone will come to your aid, expanding your network and delegating ta tasks. Again, I'm getting it'll be around people that you're going to be needing this. I'm also getting um, you could meet this person at a coffee shop while you're working on something, a work thing. Or if this is schoolwork, you'd be in a cafe working on maybe thesis why am i hearing thesis um yes so it could be that um also i'm sensing that this person wants to work with you now if it was not possible before because of blockages and then woman female friend enters your life a female romantic interest a woman will assist you a woman plays a key role okay so i'm sensing this as it could be male female in their female energy 
Um, female energy is very empathetic. Uh, female energy has an open heart. I'm sensing Queen of Cups energy here. So maybe this is someone that you can speak to about your problems that would have no connection to these people that could actually enlighten you to your situation. Maybe you just need someone to talk to. Um, and it would actually probably help see the perspectives in this in a different light well once you voice it out okay and then we have isolation being emotionally removed choosing to be alone recharging your mind body and introspection so maybe going on hermit mode might give you if it if you meet okay so if the, if you meet this person and this person comes back and you don't know like what to do don't lead these two people on um tell them what's up like you're um you need to you need to take a step back you need time to think it through um just be honest with their intention um so there's no karmic ties if you just don't say anything that could lead to something bad um always voice out where you're where you stand with them Honesty is the best policy always, especially when you have two people to choose from. Um, yes, because I, with Twin Flames here and with Spirit Guides, that means you're in a very um, spiritual path. I don't know if you know that, but there's a purpose to you here. And if something is done to you, like something wrong is done to you, or you do something bad, like the kar karmic energy for that is very heavy um i don't know if you guys have a heavy saturn um in your chart but yes it's it, there's a lot of karmic ties that needs to be worked on and lastly for this we have the magnetic seduction charm attracting things in life hard to resist something or someone again um you're a magnet right now so if you're manifesting again with angel of abundance whatever you're manifesting be it love money more happiness just everything good in life you you're attracting it and the universe is hearing you you're very connected right now okay so the overall so we have erotic bliss number 17 17 could be a significance 17 in regular tarot is um the star so and with eight as well it's the strength so there's a lot of healing to be done for you and also the star could be really putting at the forefront of something so maybe you guys are attracting fame attention or um maybe more social media presence as well because i'm seeing her as um in like that oyster is that an oyster shell but she's like being thrusted into the spotlight and with a lot of people clamoring to get to her so maybe you guys will really have there's someone better could be even more than people because teamwork in here so there's probably just more people wanting to you and a peacock on the side you guys are really like being highlighted here and people are really noticing you and so that's this past person so we have soulmate you have found your romantic counterpart self-love love yourself first and we have responsibilities romance interrupted duties come first so again this was from the past person friendly support fairies guides friends give aid so there's people around you that are willing to help you um if you need guidance at the end of the day it's your choice and you know what you want just follow what you feel is right to you and we have physical connection the sacred union of bodies to becoming one and we have lasting love this is your true love so i have a feeling if you're done with a past person you're gonna be meeting the love of your life um there's a twin flame and soulmate here um whatever you do just know what feels right um these two have the potential to be a lasting love at the same time these two relationships 
are also very um, physically, um, it's very ardent love, um, both of them. So I don't know who to choose. I don't know if I will even be in this situation. I don't know what I'd do. So um, that is really crazy thing to do. But um, let's see what this twin flame has to tell you. Angel Michael, I just need five or six cards, please. Okay, I do love you. Hold on, I have too much to lose. So I guess in the past, this person had family um, that really interrupted. And maybe it took them a while to realize that you were gone or your value, like how much you really meant to them. Um, I'm hearing you don't really know what you've lost until it's gone. So th it really has sunk into this person now. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. I won't let you down. So this person's really cleaning their energy. Strictly sexual. This person is passionate but not enduring. So in the past, this was what they probably thought. Um, it was just very um, sexual. Again, with the twin flames here, you guys were like burning up. Like you guys were probably. <laughs> I'm hearing sexual vendors. What? Yeah, you guys cannot get enough of each other. This was this was not only passionate and you felt like home, but you guys were very creative in the bedroom. Okay, and I'm seeing it's fever pitch. What the hell? Okay. I want to start over. I feel so happy with you. Anything else? for you we have my beloved though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing again with transcendence here oh my god this is beautiful I guess this person really is coming back full force okay we have creator fire I know it's Leo here, but maybe you're dealing with another fire sign or someone with heavy fire in their Mars, uh, Venus, even um, a fire sign in their North Node. And we have the anointed, answer the call, leadership, empowerment, soul gifts. So if you guys have been hoisted into a leadership role in your, your business or you, maybe you've been granted with spirit guides here maybe you guys have gotten new gifts that you might want to explore i'm hearing fairies um yes i'm hearing fairies and six angelic assistance divine guidance and loving support so i don't know if you guys have been seeing um, 555 515 um, 616, 661, or just 66. Again, heavy soulmate, lovers, energy here. And let's, oh, let me get the initials and then we'll do the yes and no thing. We have K. Got another K. O. Next. 
Mexico could be of importance. Maybe someone likes to go to Mexico for a vacation. B, or someone is of Mexican descent. D, baby daddy. <laughs> um, let's see here, let's be serious. Okay, um, maybe this person is spiritual as well. I'm seeing Om. Um, maybe this person could be Brazilian. I'm seeing like Bom Dia. And this one, uh, maybe this person is really into kinky sex. BDSM. Divine Masculine. Um, MD, again, um, could be in the medical field or Maryland. Uh, what else? I. C. And then another X. If this person likes to put XX when they say goodbye, that could be a thing. So let's see. Um, maybe this person's of mixed race. Okay, so let's see here. You deserve better. There's someone better waiting for you. Overcome your fear and the unknown when you embrace freedom. And then we have breaking rules. Being with you will cause controversy, but they're ready to break social norms to be with you. Trust in miracles. And then we have another yes. Clear the air. A lot was left and said. They can no longer hide the way they feel about you. So around fall season, so that is Libra, Scorpio, um, around that time. So that's September, October. So wait around that time um, to hear from this person, but don't wait to start your life keep going what you're doing because um, you're a magnet again so you're manifesting heavy heavy energy right now so if you're manifesting abundance in your business because I saw a lot of teamwork I'm seeing the universe is ready to work with you so if you want to manifest your career whatever it is that you're doing work with the universe the best as you can because you're in that energetic field something about saturn and jupiter right now in your chart that is um, manifesting heavily and i think the window for that could just only be five or six months so um work on that as much as you can um before uh, i mean even if after the window it, it could still be possible but it will just be harder there will be more blockages maybe with places people and things there's going to be a lot of no's instead of yeses so right now like the flow is very um like abundant and i could see a lot of the flow of electricity um on top of the water so it's really magnetic so um and electrifying so um, so this is all I have for you, Leo. Um, I hope this enlightened you. Um, good luck with everything and whatever it is that you're manifesting. Um, don't forget to put yourself first. Um, learn how to put boundaries. Um, also learn to say no. Um, I feel like you really put this person first and I think you got burned so much. Um, I think the lesson here as well was for you to... Um, no one to say it's enough um, you've given enough and maybe it's time for this person to really show um, how much they love you and what they're capable of but before then don't do anything um, that would really um, attract other like negative things so be careful with your thoughts don't think of negative stuff because that could manifest as well again you're very connected with the universe right now so um just think of positive things and manifest manifest good stuff uh, for me like if i'm in this energy i would just manifest career like abundance in that that could really highlight because you're with a 17 you're in the star energy right now so literally you're pulling all that towards you um so good luck with everything and I wish you well. Thank you. Bye.